Welcome, welcome, welcome to the 15th annual kindergarten graduation. I take that back, we missed 2020. We had one, it was just small. But thank you very much for being here. These guys have worked awfully hard. So a big round of applause when they need it would really boost their spirits. Let's practice, are you ready? Big round of applause. I want to thank Miss Anita Weathers. She's our coordinator for Sunday School Classes. She is our backbone. She gives us strength. She helps us get everything ready. Big thanks to her. And a big thanks to the elders for supporting our Sunday School Classes. Our curriculum is top notch, as you will see with what these kids have learned tonight. So without delay, here we go. Oh, Callie in. Shall we pray? Dear God, thank you for this lovely day, and I hope that we have a good time at practice, and I hope that we do a good job. In Jesus' name, amen. been studying obviously the apostles so tonight we have some of the apostles here with us so the first one is going to be Peter Peter will you come up Are you ready? Okay, so we have Peter here with us tonight. So Peter, introduce yourself. I am Peter. I was picked by Jesus. He called me the rock. I told him that I would never deny that he was the Messiah, but I did deny him three times. Good job, Peter. The next one. I am Andrew. My brother is Simon Peter. When I called, when I found Jesus, I told my brother, I brought my brother to the Messiah. I am Thomas, and I'm a follower of Jesus. I saw the holes in his hands, feet, 
and size, and I believed in him. I am Matthew. Jesus picked me as an apostle. I was not a good person. I was a tax collector, so I cheated and stole. Jesus came to eat at my house. Jesus asked me to follow him, and I did. I am Philip. I am a apostle and a disciple and a fisherman and um I knew Jesus was the one. I knew Jesus was the one. And I believed in God. And I believed in God. I am John. The disciple that Jesus loved. I was always with Jesus when, even when he was nailed to the cross. When Jesus saw his mother, he told me to take care of her. I love Jesus enough to tell the whole world about him.
This is Bible knowledge. You ready? How many books are in the whole Bible? Six, How many parts are in the Bible? Two. The parts are the Old, Old Testament. How many books are in the Old Testament? How many books are in the Old Testament? The gospel means the The gospel books are Double kiss your brain.
I'm growing up in the Lord. Oh, I'm getting stronger, turning back no longer. I'm growing up in the Lord. I'm growing up in the Lord. I make mistakes, but that's part of growing up. Part of growing up in the Lord. His understanding is what I need the most. I'm staying close to his word. Shouted from heart when I am safe in his arms and I am learning to do his will. Hearing his call, oh, I stumble and fall. I can't get up and keep growing still. I'm growing up in the Lord. Oh, I'm getting stronger, turning back no longer. I'm growing up in the Lord. I'm growing up in the Lord. Now as I'm growing, I'm learning what to say. Learning how to walk in the light. I'm made aware of the devil every day. Then Jesus is mine, and since he's there all the time, I am protected within his care. I'm growing up in the Lord. Oh, I'm getting stronger, turning back no longer. I'm growing up in the Lord. I'm growing up in the Lord. I'm growing up in the Lord. Oh, I'm getting stronger, turning back no longer. I'm growing up in the Lord. 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 Da 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 Okay. Okay. We're going to take just a minute to honor our graduates. Uh, the first one is Mr. Garrick. And we didn't know how he would do tonight, uh, but probably the lights and all maybe scared him a little bit. But I want to thank Kelly and Scott for allowing us to be a part of his life. He, yes, yes. It was neat to see how the kids reacted to Garrick. They love Garrick. They're not afraid of him, which is our goal. They needed to know that he was a child of God too. And we loved him. Kelly, you're going to make me cry, so stop. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so what we had to say about Garrick, this boy loves to laugh. He watches everything, but particular loves it when we end a prayer and we all say amen together. Right, boys and girls? Garrick will just smile. The scripture that reminded us of Garrick is Job 8.28. He will fill your mouth laughter and your lips with shouts of joy. So let's give Garrick a round of applause. We did have eight graduates, but we had two that were here tonight. So uh, Mr. Rory, you come on up. And you stand right here and turn and face mom and dad where they can see you. <laughs> this is Mr. Rory. He is our boy that loves to learn the Bible stories. He focuses on whatever we are doing, whether through song, games, memory work, or drama. His joy for the Lord is evident with his words and his beautiful smile. The scripture that reminds us of Mr. Rory is Psalms 1611. The Lord fills us with joy in his presence. Can you give Mr. Roy a big round of applause? So after we're fixing to close out in prayer, um, after this, 
In our uh, multi-purpose room, we have some ice cream, some ice cream bars and things like that. Feel free to take your family back there and celebrate with your kids and our graduates. Mr. Jim? Okay, uh, real quick, I, it would be remiss if I didn't do this, um, even though it'll make them uncomfortable, which <laughs> brings me great joy. Um, but, but before I do, I, it, it's all about the lead up. So they provided some scriptures that came to mind for some of the kids in the class. When I think of the two of them, uh, it, it's not a perfect comparison, but there's a thought that goes on in Hebrews chapter 11. When the Hebrew writer lists faithful people, and one of the characteristics about that, you know, and, and some of them, you know, were stoned and 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 everything like that, and I don't think that's happened, but but not yet. <laughs> there have been a few parents, but that, that was many years ago. But the whole concept was they were faithful, and they never got to fully appreciate what they had done in the kingdom because what they did lasted for so many generations. And when I think about that concept, the idea that, that something great can happen, but can happen in such a way that you never really fully get to experience and appreciate just what you've done, I, I think of these wonderful servants. And I know that they are very proud. It, it's also exciting to see that the next generation is being... <laughs> <laughs> that's you, uh, is coming in, and I'm excited that uh, they've agreed to continue to do this for nine more years, um, because Brennan and, huh? Well, I, until all my grandkids get through, and <laughs> Brendan and Kara are thinking about having seven, <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyways, at this time, uh, you guys could give them a round of applause, they deserve it. Um, touching the hearts of the little ones is probably one of the greatest things we can do, and especially when you think about dividends that are going to pay far down the road. So with that in mind, let's all bow in prayer, and then you can go back. Um, I think there may be a few people sticking around for something else, but uh, head back to the Fellowship Hall. Okay, let's go to God in prayer. Father, dear God, we are humbled that you would dare trust us with something so precious and so innocent as the heart of a child. God, it is a humbling thing to consider. For God, we know the seriousness of what we're doing. And God, we know the seriousness that you take it. God, thank you for these hearts, these wonderful, beautiful hearts that are learning to love you, learning to love your son, God, we know that you have plans for them, plans in the upcoming year, plans in the upcoming decade. God, we see in them great things that are going to happen. God, thank you for the innocence of that love that they have for you, and God, may we replicate that as adults. God, thank you for the people, the wonderful people that are involved in the lives of these children, and God, we're just grateful for their faithfulness as they use the, the talents and the passion that you've placed on their hearts. God, we love you very much, and it's through Christ Jesus we pray. Amen. Okay, you are dismissed. <laughs>